Hello everybody and welcome to the new series of PLS SEM training using a Smart PLS 3. In these videos, I will focus on almost everything related to PLS SEM from the conditions that favor the use of this method to the best practices in terms of measurement and structural models evaluation. And of course, more advanced techniques that can help robustify and extend your initial results will be covered in these video trainings. Our main resource is the PLS SEM Superfast Car paper that was recently published and the selection of this article as a point of reference has been based on a few reasons. The first reason is that this article contains the latest published recommendations and standards in terms of running the analysis and reporting the results, which is very important for almost all the scholars uh, involved in social science research. It also contains almost all the recent literature related to the methodological development in the context of PLSSEM, which is also another very important aspect of this paper. And the last reason is that it reviews the application of PLSSEM method in higher education research over 20 years and is the only review paper comparing the application of PLSSEM and CBSEM in the context of a scientific discipline. So it was just an introduction and in the next video, which is actually the first episode of these tutorial videos, I will talk to you about the reasons that favor the use of PLSSEM. Thank you very much for watching.